All right, welcome back. So let's go through the next stack of books here. Little, I'm gonna say Roquefort has a tear there. Number one uh, from Paul Terry. Terry Tunes, if you're not familiar with that. Uh, let's see if I can, hold on. Let me adjust this light a little bit and see if maybe just moving it that way will help. Nope, that did not help. It's either good for one camera or bad for the other camera. So we'll just kind of put it, so we can put it way up here. Probably make this other camera look all washed out. But yeah, really cool. Raggedy Ann and Andy, again, another one of these, you know, pick up because nostalgia hits you. It's in fairly high grade, but you see these things all over. There's no shortage of these. They're not worth a lot. You're just never sure what to do with them. They're gonna be in the keeper pile for now. Burke's Law, I, for some reason, have an addiction to photo covers. Uh, this was a TV show. Um, not sure if it's number one yet is. Number one, only three issues. So, Follow the Sun. That was a movie, I believe, but really cool deal. Uh, it's a number one, 62, there's only two issues. No Time for Sergeants, I feel like we saw one of these or a similar one over in um, the other uh, What's in the Box video. But number one, TV, little notes to myself. Rango, that is Tim Conway, if y'all did not recognize that. Super great uh, actor, comedy actor, Rango. Nuclea, I think they did six issues or some of this. This is of course the number one Dell Comics. Uh, 60s trying to do a little superhero stuff didn't really catch on but very cool book the littlest snowman oh just dripping with some nostalgia so four color uh 755 december 1956 this is considered little snowman number one mal yeah. malgly the jungle book Four color, 487, this is considered the number one. Beautiful painted cover, great stuff. Zane Gray's Hideout, this is a Dale file copy. Great. Painted cover, Zane Gray's River Feud. Again, another great painted cover. Zane Gray's The Rustlers. Zane on back cover, 1954. Zane Gray's Range War, 56. Ben Bowie and the Mountain Men, number one. That's a four color. Jungle Gem, super fantastic. That's the four color, but it's considered the number one. All right, so these are keepers for now, too. Oh. I love my four colors. I know they're not worth a lot, but oh, I'm gonna do something. We got, uh, let's see. Oh, it looks like we're continuing with some of our four colors. Roy Rogers, photo cover, super great. Mixed with a little bit of art. Uh, Look at that great photo cover. Beautiful condition too. That's why I bought these. They're just such high grade. But even high grade, they're not worth a lot. You know, so I've considered like, get them graded and maybe you find that special person that loves these, you know, as much as, as, as I would. And you have something, you know, like a nice display piece hanging up. I don't know. Again, I love the artwork added with a photo cover, Roy Rogers. Buck Jones, looks like he's got a map, goes to the gold, looks like this guy's no good because he's got a cigarette in his mouth and a gun, but yep, trouble's about to ensue. 1954, uh, four color, uh, 589. Um, Collector's issue, so Sally Field, the flying nun, number one. 
Tonka, Jungle King, cool book. That's a four color, 966 from uh, 1959. Little Iodine, uh, King Features, but it's a Dale book. Yeah, it's got some shadowing and stuff around, pretty cool. This is number one, 1950s. Uh, there's 52 issues, it says. Uh, four color, there were two issues. So yeah, very cool. The Lieutenant. Prepare to attack. Let's go, Marines. And this is number one. Terry Bears, St. John Press. You don't see St. John Press stuff very often. They did mostly funny animal stuff. Another Paul Terry book, number one. 1952, only three issues. Kurt Russell, I feel like we saw another Kurt Russell book in the last one. I need to combine those two boxes and get all of those Dell four colors and things like that together. Gold key. But yeah, really cool. So this is the number one from 1963. The Legend of Young Dick Turpin. Again, this is a Disney movie. Where can you see these Disney movies? Where are they at? Disney, put these out on the Disney Channel or Disney Plus, something like that. You've got a great collection in your catalog of these uh, of these movies i want to see them i remember them from the wonderful world of disney come on oh and buffalo bill jr another dell or another gold key a lot of times i'll say dell gold key as if it's the same company uh which it kind of is but that's number one from 1965 All right, more keepers. That's funny. So Beetle Bailey, Sergeant Snorkel number one. Uh, <laughs> did the pumpkin in the, uh, to look like a Sergeant Snorkel. High, high grade, really great. Double trouble with Little Goober. Oh, I hate it when my Little Goober gets in trouble. But Bill McLean art, really cool. Four color, 556 from 1954. Smitty and Herbie, cool. High grade, high grade, that's why I picked these up. I love my Dales, um, number 909. Dottie Dripple and Taffy. I feel like we saw one of those in the other What's in the Box video, but look at these spines, beautiful. Not a tick or anything. You know, I thought about sending these in and getting them graded because I just feel like they deserve it even though they're not worth a lot. I, I don't know, man. I wish there was more love for these books. Henry Aldrich, number one. Bill Williams art, just great. 1950, 22 issues they did. Red Rider Comics, uh, Fred Harmon, super, super high grade, beautiful. The, the, so many of these Red Rider books out there and not worth a lot. I'm just not sure what to do. Francis Talking Mule. You poor dumb two-footed man. Well, that's mean of you, Francis. Huh. Oh, hammer down the nails, they hurt my feet. Francis just don't look like, like a nice person or mule or whatever he is. I love finding these. Of course, it's a Walt Disney, but this is one of those thick boys. And I find these thick boys in any kind of great shape because it's a kind of a cardboard cover. You open it up, it, it creates this poppage of creasing. And to find these in any kind of high grade is like almost impossible. It's Disney's or Mickey Mouse's 25th birthday from 1953. Uh, Dell Giant Comics, number one. 
Oh, super great. Oh. And then little Lulu on vacation. Another one of those thick boys. Dale Giants. Oh. And I think I've got a couple of more of those right here. Uh, yeah. Here's a Tubby and his Clubhouse Pals. Another one of those thickens. A Treasury of Dogs. They did a couple of these, like Treasury Dogs, Treasury of Horses, Treasury of Stamps, too. So I think we showed the Treasury of Stamps, but. Pogo Parade. Walt Kelly. Another one of those thick boys. It's a little dirty, but very cool. And then this is one of those, I'm not sure if the, it was later, this is 1965, so I think, uh, so later of these, this is just a newsprint cover, right? It's not a glossy or anything like that. It's not square bound, it's just wrapped, and it has three staples in it to hold all, I think it's 100 pages, hold all 100 pages with the newsprint cover. Rarely do you see these because the, the, the newsprint covers just tear up so quickly. This one's torn, creased as you see, but yeah, it's hard, super hard to find these newsprint covers from the 60s for these giants. So, um, only issue paper cover, only issue 100 pages, 1965. All right, I'm just going to leave those there. All right, here's our last little stack. So we didn't do very well. We got we got a lot more keeping than um, selling. Porky Pig, I've talked about these early four colors. Uh, this is number 342. Super classic, you know, it's not in high, high grade, but it's in better grade than what you usually see. I don't know, I just love them, but again, not worth a lot. You, you see, you will see these around. Porky Pig and the Grand Canyon Giant. Um, little Sylvester there with them, uh, number 351, really cool. Porky Pig and Tree of Fortune, number uh, 360. So I'm sure it's four color 360. Porky Pig, Trouble in the Big Trees. So, uh oh, it's like, I can hear it. The heartbeat. No, it's a woodpecker. So, number 370. Adventures. So, here's another one of those. I need to find now where I did that other Adventures comics. Looks a little smaller. Uh, number three. We'll kind of set that aside and find the other one. Uh, Walt Disney's Mickey Mouse. Oh, 1967. Look at, that, look at those covers, colors, just great. Another Porky Pig and the, and Spoofy the Spook. Looks hungry. Got a big thing of ham and cheese and I don't know what that is. Maybe mustard or mayonnaise, some milk, some bread. Fox and the Hound. Look at that. What a cartoon. Maybe y'all remember that. So number three. Looks like originally it came from uh, file copy um, stamp on first page. Oh, so it's cool. Let's see. Let's see if they're lying to us. Nope. This is why you like to see in these file copies too, right? With that Racine, Wisconsin stamp, then the secretary uh, stamped that, and then she hand writ in, writ, writ in the rest of the information. So uh, July 2nd, 1981, um, she wrote the date down, 10, looks like 14 or 19 of 81. Maybe that was a checkout date. Someone checked it out, I'm not sure, September 1981, and then the code. Really cool. Oh, look at that. Another Solar um, advertisement. Thought it was a toy at first. It's like, there is a Dr. Solar toy? No, nope. just an ad. Oh, there's another file copy. Disney's Dumbo and the Sky Voyage. Return to Editorial Department, Racine, Wisconsin. 
another Dell file copy. Crazy Cat number one. Uh, it's considered number one, but it's probably four color. Um, 504. Another file copy, uh, four color, um, 1083. Really cool. Dick, Pixie and Dixie and Mr. Jinx. Really cool. Metropolis. That's another file copy. Gyro gear, gear, gear loose. Um, four color, 1184. Another file copy. So really cool. Ah, 1977 Superman, uh, foreign edition, uh, Spanish. Spanish? I don't know. Got a Bizarro Superman. Really cool. Destroyer Duck, number two. I have a number one somewhere. And then number three. I think this is the only three issues they did. So this was to help out Steve Gerber uh, in his fight to get the rights to um, Howard the Duck. Uh, work by Jack Kirby. Helping out his buddy. But yeah, I think only three issues of this was put out and all the proceeds went to help out, um, yeah, that lawsuit. So number two and number three. All right. Bonanza. Oh, Captain Marvel Jr. Oh, look at this cover. Oh, oh this is so amazing. Oh my God, number 107. Look at these. Oh, it's only you. For a moment, you startled me. Tales of mystery and imagination. Oh my God, look at that cover. Oh, so wacky and cool. Oh my God, all right, this got to go over here. All right, and then Vampire Tales. I love picking up these Marvel magazines um, from the 70s. I did not get a chance to purchase a lot of these when I was a kid. You know, they're a little more expensive, 75 cents. That was the cost of three funny books. Three funny books back then, because they were 25 cents each. Um, but yeah, really cool. Origin of Mobius. Very cool. And then I have something over here to the... Ah, Barbarella the Moon Child. This is from um, Jean-Claude Forest, uh, kind of a heavy, heavy metal imprint, or it's, you know, heavy metal magazine, then heavy metal produced this. Uh, very cool. Barbarella classic uh, movie, uh, Jane Fonda. Uh, that's where Duran Duran got their name from because there was a Dr. Duran Duran in the movie. And I hear there's a remake uh, coming, but yeah. Very cool, very cool. Love it. So we didn't do very well with our keeper and sellers. I mean, but how can you blame me how can you blame me? All these great four colors, no one cares about them. That, that, that's a sad thing. No one cares about these things. I feel like, you know, I do, and maybe you do. And if you do, hey, let me know down in the comments below. Like, Shelby, I care too. I love the Dell four colors. I love me some Mickey Mouse. You know, they just hit such a nostalgia itch for me as a kid. Uh, and I, I don't know. it. Super great, super great. They are gonna go into a keeper box for now. And, but we do have a small stack uh, here that is in the for sale. So we will put those up on eBay and see what we can do. That's it. Hey, thank y'all for hanging in there. See a little jack butt beside me. Uh, got our box of keepers. We did empty a box. So, or we moved comics from one box to another. That's about it. But uh, if you stuck around this long, please hit that like button, drop a comment, uh, sub if you haven't already. Uh, but most of all, remember, peace, love, and comics. Bye.